Okay, so we are going to now learn basic things about graphics. So when you look at the graphic uh, in IELTS Academic, the first writing is about graphics, and second writing is about essay, as you, we have studied. Okay, so we are going to learn basic things about graphics, like steady. Steady means steady. It, the constant, stable, yes, stable. It doesn't change. You see, this is called increase, and this is decrease and dip also can be used. And if this changes a lot, we call it fluctuation. It wavy. goes up and down, kind of wavy, yeah. And there are some adjectives and adverbs that we use with them. For example, we use this gradual. Gradual, what's gradual? Step by step, slowly, not very fast. Slight, little bit, little bit slight. Slightly, slight, slight. slice, yes. Sharp, what's sharp? Sharp, normally a knife is sharp like that. Yeah, sharp means very blunt, like that, yes. Steep, sharp and steep, they are same. same. And also the nouns which we use them, the rise, increase, growth. These are same, the first three ones, rise, increase, and these are same. Yeah. Fall, decrease, and decline, they go down. And I show this as verbs like this, increase, rise, go up, grow. This means how they go up. And fall, go down, decline, dip, decrease, you see they are going below, below negative way. And also, we, we use adverbs together. So adverbs are the verbs which take L, Y, and we always use them with a verb. For example, we say it changed slightly, it increased gradually, or we use the other one. Slightly means a little, gradually means slowly, steadily means constant without changing, or sharply, quickly, steeply, quickly. Or you can make something like this, a, a gradual rise. So rise, which is slowly going up. A sharp decrease, something goes down very quickly. And the other point, in graphics, we highlight the unexpected differences. It is very important. For example, in a graphic, you are going to compare and contrast three transportation modes, like, let's say, metro, bus, and car, and the change in the years. So there should be accuracy. Accuracy means your writing, the information, what you write should be to write, accurate. That's also important. And the answer should be relevant with a clear view. Relevant means the relation between mm -hmm. it. And information should be well organized. So you can say, the, in the beginning part, say the graphic is about this. And then I'm going to show you on a graphic how you are going to organize. You can organize according to columns or according to years, or according to modes, we are going to see them. Because we have also a lot of graphics. So there are some examples. How can we make an example? For example, we say sales increased slightly. As you see, it is a sentence like that. Sales increased slightly. For example, from January to February, or from February to March, or from March to April, so you give a time period, you see time period, there was, there is, there has been, you talk about the existence, and increase, rise, fall, but with an adjective, slight increase, dramatic rise, moderate fall. Moderate means between, in sales, in sales, the number of sales. Okay, so when you talk about the increase and rise, look at the first graph here, from 10, it came to 2, from 2. We are going to use preposition like from 2. It says it decreased from 10 to 2, yeah? The second one, it started at 2, it peaked at 10, high point, peaked, and it finished at 2. So. We, it is the movement of the actions, how we are going to talk. Start, peak, finish, fluctuate, increase, decrease, 
these are the general verbs after we do like three or four graphs then you see we just use the same words that's limited words and you see there is a drop but this drop from 10 to 2 can be expressed by with by and of there was a drop of 8 or it dropped by 8 this is the point and we have another one you see the triangle pyramid it peaked it reached a peak so you can say it reached a peak in august so here like we say it reached a peak at 100 from 0 to 100 and then we say peak if this one is goes like that they say exponential it grew exponential there was an exponential growth which means it grew up much and higher in turkish they say usel büyüme usel in physics they say i'm not i don't know okay if you see it goes up and if it stops they say it reached a plateau it leveled off it plateaued it, it stopped some something like it stopped and also if it starts from the same point and continued in that point we say it remained constant it didn't change so as you see these are the general points okay we can see the next page you see there is fluctuation fluctuation means go up down the up down up down but here it says the first one there is an upward trend trend means fashion fashion means it always change upward going up downward going down and there were fluctuations it fluctuated we can use like that there were fluctuations it fluctuated when the graph doesn't show presses presses exact data use these words when you don't have exact numbers you can say just under well under just over well over if you are not quite if you cannot see the number in an exactly clear way you see it is over five you can say just over five or below five but it's not four it's four point half or four point two so you can say just below so these are the numbers which we use when the number the level is not exactly expressed and we say roughly nearly approximately around about they are all same they, are, they mean nearly for example what time is it it's about 3 30 for example about approximately and also one more thing for time period you can say for one month for a period of one month over the next month during the next month you can use such different points like that or oh, there was a slight increase in sales this is also important and in graphics you should be able to use comparative and superlatives why because comparative you compare superlative the highest the biggest the least now there are something important for example the most popular car color is white so it means it's very popular the second most common car color is red so the superlative the superlative is most popular and second most common and here we have comparative and superlative more common less popular but use these words these are very important substantially means important a very high level substantially considerably means a lot a lot far much somewhat somewhat in a way in a way bir nevi, in a way significantly important level slightly a little bit slightly and fractionally very little yes fractionally what's fraction fraction fractionally I don't know in English. <laughs> Fraction means it's like one third, two third. So, for example, one Fraction. divide three. So it is like Fraction. one third. Okay. Fraction. Fraction. Part I don't. Of something. Yes, part of something, but like half of it, not exactly. Yeah, like that. 
Kesinlikle. 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 Ya. Yeah. A little bit. Eser miktarda falan da dediğinde slide falan. Çünkü burada ben şimdi baktım ki hafif küçük bir enerji zayıf bir bir kanlama var ama ilk kanlama da yani görünmüyor böyle. No no. English people generally use it in the meaning of a little. But Turkish dictionaries like let's say Turang, Sesli Sözlük, Zargan, they don't give the main meaning in the first line. Like that. anyway, it's not not problem. So okay, you see also as as white is about twice as common as red. White is three times as popular as red. You can use in this way. So look at look at it says look at the figure twelve and study these examples. Let's see. White, which is fifty six point eleven percent, is considerably more common than blue, which makes up twelve point seventy two. So here we see how to make a sentence with comparative and with which, because you need to give two information. The percentage, for example, 56 percent, 70, 12 percent, and also the other point here, considerably more common, the comparative. So it is important to be able to write such examples, and they will help us. And also red, which constitutes 28, is about twice as popular as blue, which is 12.72 percent. These are grammar sentences. You should write these sentences to see it. Look, the point is here, which is, which constitutes, and you can just put here in the parentheses, but here you can also say that. But you see, there are three ways to say the percentage. Sometimes they don't write the percentage, sometimes they write it, it depends. So it says you can use break, brackets, pers, like this press, parentheses, and also a relative clause, which means which, blah, blah, blah. And this is very also a small part. When we start to write a graphic, you should, there are different four or five types of graphic. You should know what you are talking about. For example, illustration, graph, pie chart, bar chart, table. I can show you them now. So illustration is like a picture, graph, graphic. Pie chart is the circle. It's like an apple pie. You take a piece, think about it. Bar chart, there are columns and table. I have the photos and table you have. Let me show you a table here. No, this is a graphic, a column bar. Not table. It's pie chart. It's illustration. This is a table. Table. Tableau. Table. So there are different types as you see. So you write it type of chart and then you say you write a word shows, illustrates, presents and my favorite one is gives information. You can say gives information about something. Say gives information about blah blah blah. Then you go it, and then you say the number of the proportion of information on data on, also with preposition. So you see, your first introduction sentence is ready. And when they give you the question, you know what do they do? In the question they tell you it is what it is. They say in the pie chart there are three countries: China, Sweden, and America about the usage of internet or usage of fast food, blah, blah, blah. So here, it's first time, let's say, you see these verbs. Okay, you have to study these verbs today. You have to repeat. 
and you have to read the also other page so we can you can see how it is going to be and we are also going to do that. okay now this is just some ready structures can you read it i mean it's readable i took it from a book that's why i can read it if you cannot read it then I can read and send you later, or maybe write it. And also try to use this uh, point. This is also very important. Why? Because you see here, suddenly, rapidly, dramatically, significantly, sharply, steeply, steadily, use them after a verb. It is very important. If you use them after a verb, you can see it will be very effective and easily seen. Okay, for example, increase suddenly, the number of cars increase suddenly from June to December. So this two part is very important. Why do I say that? Because here you see it is a verb. Let me write it. It's a verb. And here, adverb. Okay, because adverb follows a verb. That's why it says adverb. So, and now here another point you can do. For example, increase suddenly. But here, sudden increase. It is an adjective and it is a noun. Mm -hmm. So I can write here adjective. Adjective. And I can write here a noun together. Adjective noun combination. No. So it changed. For example, increase suddenly, sudden increase. Jumped rapidly, rapid jump. Rose dramatically, dramatic rise. You should be able to trans transform verb adverb to adjective noun. Why? Because in the paragraph, if they say it increased suddenly, you don't write the same. You write this one. You, say, you write sudden increase then they will see the level of your English is better. So it means you can use it. Anyway, so these are general things and also other things like that. So I pass the other page also to the graphic samples. Can you open the first sample? It says page nine on the right side. I have some pace in the beginning, but then I don't have the pace number. It changed. Okay, page nine. So here the graphic is about fertility rates. Fertility to have a child. Fertility rate birth per woman in Gulf countries. Gulf. Which which Gulf? Uh, Arab Gulf. Arab Gulf. Gulf. You you see the countries here: Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates. Normally in IELTS, they give three countries, but this is difficult. They give six countries. But how can we, before we write it, how can we classify? For example, Oman and Saudi Arabia are the high countries. Let's say Bahrain and Kuwait, the low, Qatar and UAE are the middle. I can write three different paragraphs, the high countries, middle countries and low countries. Or, or I can do so you see 1990 and 2000. I can write two paragraphs. What happened in 1990s and what happened in 2000s? So I have two ways to talk about a graphic. Do you like graphics? Yes, I, I hate graphics. Because we don't... English people, they like graphics. When they... Uh, even in a news... When they give a news, you see the man is giving a news and then behind him there is a graphic going up, down, circling blah 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 they always explain things with graphics so that's why they think people who should study in england should also like graphics and then you can go 
She likes, okay. <laughs> okay, then she can go. In sociology, we, we must uh, narrow the graph because uh, in our article, uh, we make a survey for that uh, we must uh, compare the, uh, here the, uh, the facts. The I see. That's and, right, uh, you are right. Also, also uh, the graphics, uh, graphics uh, explains uh, a lot of mathematics uh, terms uh, and uh, you know knowledge explains uh, you know un unknown knowledge. And maybe it can explain quicker. You see it. You don't read. You just look at the figures. Figure, number. Yesterday we learned figure. It has three meanings. Number, motif, and third one, person. Historical figure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see this one. The chart shows striking change. Striking, important. The chart shows striking change in the fertility rate of women in six Gulf countries. So this is the introduction. Yeah, we see it. So, okay, the countries, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Amman, Oman, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain, and the other countries, between 1990 and 2000. So you see, so the first sentence gives information per births per women, between six countries, between these years. In the first introduction, you should give all information which is on the graphic. Look at the right, left. You see the name of the countries and the years. You have to write them, okay? You can take note. That is the first point which can be like that. Okay. And then the second one. In 10 year period, there was a decline in the number of births per women in all countries. The biggest declines are, were in two countries which had low fertility rates in the start of the decade, Bahrain and the UAE. So you see, she or he organized the, the second paragraph according to low birth rate, low. So you see, decline is very important word. Fertility rates vary greatly between six countries. Oman and Saudi Arabia had the biggest rates with over seven births per woman in 1990. This compared with around four, four births per woman in Bahrain in UAE and just 7.3 blah blah blah. 7.35 in Kuwait. We say so. And also by 2000 the rate had fallen below three births per woman in Kuwait, Bahrain and UAE with a drop of over 25 percent in a decade which Decade means 10 years, 10 years, with UAE. However, in Saudi Arabia and Oman, the rates fell by just 20% from blah, blah, blah. So here, of course, they look at here from percentage and they explain it according to that. So you see the general information have been classified, organized according to high, low, and middle. But there is another way according to years. But if you do according to years, in one 1990s, you have to talk about six countries. In 2000, you have to talk about six countries again. This way, it is easier. And you should give some years and also other information. By 2000, the rate had fallen below three birds per woman in Kuwait, Bahrain, and UAE with a drop of the past. Sorry. In summary, there were major decreases in birth rates in all countries, but some countries in the region have doubled the fertility rate of others. So it's like a compare and contrast of the countries. So this is one paragraph, of course. On uh, internet, if you write IELTS graphics, you will see like this many ready examples. Ready examples. Or for statistics, for economics, for public administration, for sociology, there are a lot of graphic classes. You can also find them. But if you, you had better write IELTS graphic and IELTS essay. So, so you can watch from YouTube and you can see PDF forms. You should see a lot of examples. Because next week, let's say this week, we are going, we're going to analyze them, but also you are going to start to write. So when you start to write, 
you should see some examples to have an idea because if it goes up do you want to use go up increase peak or if it goes down do you want to use decrease blah blah you should choose the words and the basic general words are the first two pages this page they are very very easy and then you can see here these three pages will be enough for you to use the words but you have to look at it maybe three or four times to learn them maybe because some of them we don't use this some of them okay and then let's see another one it says write a report for a university lecturer describe describing the information below write at least 150 words okay the graph below shows the different modes of transport used to travel to and from work in one European city in 1960, 80, and 2000. So there are four different modes, train, car, tube, and bus, and three years, 1960, 1980, 2000. It's up to you. You can organize according to years or according to uh, mode of transport. It's up to you, however you want. So, for example, let's see the answer. Which one is metro? Tube, metro, underground. They use the subway. Yeah, yeah, oh, of course. So the highest one is the car. The least one is the car. Look, car in 1960 is the lowest, but in 2000 it's the highest. You see car. But tube have always been high, for example, and bus have been on a decrease. You see? You should be able to see this change. You should be able to read the graphic. Okay, let's see what is happening. The first, the first paragraph is introduction, okay? The graph shows, gives information, illustrate, illustrates the changing patterns in commuting by train, car, tube, or bus for commuters. Commuter, what's commuter? If you go from Turkey to, Istanbul, to Turkey to Holland by plane, you are a passenger. But if you live in Diyarbakir, you go from Dakapı to Dijlekent, you are a commuter. It is, it is a, what is it, you know? It is a passenger in the city. You go work and you go school. If it is far away, far away passenger, passenger, but no, it's, if it is in the city, you are commuter. You commit, commit to work and you go and come. So it says commuters in London in the years 1960, 80 and 2000. Okay, the number of people using trains at first rose from just under 20% in 1960 to about 26 in 1980 and then fell back to about 23 in 2000. Okay, so this is about train. Okay, so I would like to tell you something. For example, look at train. Here it is bit below 20. You can say in 1960 it is around 18. Around 18. And it's around 28. You can say them, or you can just say 28. They, it's not a problem for them because they didn't write here 28 or 29. You approximately, for me 28, for him 27. So it is not a problem. And then, so you see how did they organize it? They organize according to the mode of transport. And the other one, use of tube has been relatively stable. Falling from under 27 of commuters in 1960 to 22 in 1980, but climbing back to reach 25 by 2000. On the other hand, the use of cars increased steadily from just over 5% in 1960 to 23% in 1980, reaching almost 40% by 2000, whereas the popularity of buses has declined since 1960, falling from just under 35% in 1960 to 27% in 1980, blah, blah, and only 15% in 2000 we do in this way. So it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. The graph indicates the growing use of cars for committing the work 1960-2000 and corresponding decline in the popularity of buses, most popular mode of transport in 1960 and at least. So you see in the last paragraph there is also something 
different. The car is the highest. Uh, the least one in 2000 is, I think, uh, which one is? Bus. So it's going down. So you should use comparative, superlative, and you should also use the words which we used before comparative. I know you are tired today because learning something different, interesting makes you tired. Don't worry, you will learn it today, not tomorrow, today. So for example, here on page five, before them, you say considerably a lot, far much. Try to use them. It will be very, very motivating for you. And also, so there are other examples. I want you to study the examples, okay, with their answers, their graphics, and underline, try to study so that we can continue. And also on page, I don't know if you see the page. What page is it after the graphics? Okay, you see just one page of writing like here, you can feel it. And also, you have this page, right? I want you to think, to think as an object. This is what they do. They always ask an object in speaking part. It's your writing homework, but you, sp you will speak with me. You will find it. I gave it as a separate paper. You have it? No, I haven't. Okay, I'll give it to you. So you write an object. You will talk about a person, you will talk about, describe a place, an event, an activity, and describe your favorite thing, favorite book, favorite place, favorite film, favorite music, favorite blah, 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 and describe an animal. This is, I was, I attended to, in Istanbul, to an IELTS course for English teachers, and there, I, I'm not, I don't remember her name, she told us, if your students can study this, in speaking, they will solve many things. And this is just something I took notes and I prepared it. It is just seven different types. So you should try to use that. Okay. This is generally like that, but uh, before you go, I can give you this book so that you can, the one which I told about reading, writing, so you can start to read, it's important. You can, as I said, you can read from your computer, take notes, or you can just print out every day, five pages, ten pages, it's up to you. And also I'll give it to you, this as well. Okay, we can finish today. Yusuf, could you pass it? Okay. You can go if you do. <laughs> Those who want can go. Yeah, Güneş teacher. Yorum adınız değil mi? Yo, I, he also has a translation class. So. <laughs> Are you tired? I got tired. I also have class. Thanks to you. I also have class. Thanks to, thanks to us. Yes. 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 Okay, I can just send it from there. there.